you know, Ryder, their record doesn't reflect how talented they are. They're trying to figure out how to replace, I think, Robinson from last year's team. And I know Tommy Dempsey's been coaching uh, for a few years. He's had a lot of success. He's going to figure it out. Um, but I'm really proud of these guys. These guys have been working really, really hard. And um, it's starting to come together slowly but surely. Eight grade to start from three-point range. Have you ever seen anything like that in your time here, Mars? Nope. You know, um, but again, it's a, it's it's a it's a credit to Devin and these guys. You know, I've not seen anything like that since I've been here. But I certainly have not seen a group of kids work as hard as these guys either. So there's a connection. Uh, you know, Devin Price is a kid who has had his ups and downs uh, in previous years on the court, but he was so committed, so driven this summer. He came back ten pounds bigger. Um, quicker, faster. Um, he's in the gym every every minute that he's not in class, so it's not a surprise, I think, to our staff. And uh, I got to give my assistant coaches a lot of credit. They spend a lot of time with these guys before and after practice. Yeah, Tommy said that they've had trouble defending the three. This is like I think their fifth game where they've given up at least ten threes. Was that a key of the key of the game going into this to? to no, we wanted to get the ball inside to Adam Kemp and Peter and collapse the defense. Uh, we've been doing that all year. That's been kind of our philosophy, play inside out. Um, let's, let's force the defense to collapse and then kick the ball out to open shots. But we didn't go into the game thinking we were going to shoot this well. We just Every game this year, we've been saying, hey, let's get the ball inside to Adam. We've made a conscious effort the first two or three possessions of every game this year to get the ball inside, establish low post position, and then kick the ball out to, to shooters. Devin, when you're particularly in the early in the game and you're getting these open looks at three, what's going through your mind knowing that you can drain these shots? Um, one, I didn't expect to be you know, left as open as I did. So, um, like Coach said, you, you should in the summer to take advantage of those situations where you get open, some open looks. Um, I thought that I came in with the mindset of uh, just straight defending Jeff Jones, a good player in terms of you know, game management. But um, I had some opportunities and uh, I took advantage of them. For a young team, you know, that has a lot of talent, four, four talented freshmen playing only their second MAC team to win a game in this fashion. What kind of confidence builder is your team? Um, it's a huge confidence builder for the freshmen, but the whole team in general. Um, we work hard. We do a lot of lifting, a lot of shooting. Um, I see a lot of my teammates, you know, shooting at night, and you know, hard work tends to pay off. And this is something that I haven't seen in the two years that I've been here. You know, people committing to coming back and getting better. So um, I'm happy with my team. I'd say the same thing with you get the, the open shots early, what are you thinking when you, you see how essentially how wide open you are from beyond the, beyond the arc? Um, I just credit that to my teammates and coaches. <coughs> we're just running our offenses and basically like my coach said, we run inside out and that like gives our shooters like 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 more comfortable so that helps out a lot. And again as a freshman on, on this team, what how big of a confidence boost is this knowing you can go out with a Mac team like this and have a big win? Um we definitely were disappointed with the Loyola we lost to Work for us, and we all came focused, practice harder, and it definitely paid off. Shavon, sure, same thing. I mean, how, how big a win is this just for you guys, confidence wise, momentum wise, going into the, the next couple weeks? I mean, it's always great when, um, as a team, we enjoy it, and I just think that we keep it up and we continue to work hard and uh, continue to get wins. Chuck, it seemed like when you put together a couple of runs, I think it was like 13 0 or 11 2, like at some one point, a lot of it was getting defensive rebounds and getting it out, you know, quick outlet. How important was that to not just rely on the three, but also every pass of the game? Yeah, uh, it's really important because really it's who we are. We're, we're, I think this team is built to defend. You know, we're not there yet at all, um, but but we're getting there. I mean, as, as proud as I am about Devin's performance on the offensive end, I'm more proud of his defensive effort. I mean, for him to hold Jeff Jones, who, if I'm not mistaken, was an all-CC performer, 0 for 3, 0 for 2. I mean, that, that's unbelievable that he can hold Jeff Jones at one point. Um, and again, that's just really a reflection, a byproduct of, of us as a team. You know, we're, we're not going into games thinking shoot threes. We want to defend, rebound the ball, and then push the ball and allow these guys' talent to, to take over in the open court. And just one last thing, any update on Dorbell as far as status? What we may no, we're going to sit down with a, a, a doctor again this week and get a second opinion before we uh, make any decisions and um, see what the second opinion is from, from that second doctor and kind of go from there, sit down with his family, um, sit down as a staff and see what's best for him.